documentary based around social media. Do you feel that the creation of the internet and the reliance of social media is having a negative impact on young people's mental health? Definitely is, uh, because I believe that everything's there. Negative things are broadcast more than positive, so you don't see all the good that people do and all you know and what have you. You always see the negative. My daughter's a prime example of this. She listens to everybody in America saying that if you're coloured and gay in America, you're gonna get shot because of this and the other. And that's the problem. And you know, you guys are youngsters constantly on your phones. If you actually ranked up how many time or how much time you're on your phone compared to how much time you actually talk and interact with people, it's going drastically the other way and the interaction skills are, are wrong and everybody can misread text so yeah social media itself is really bad it's unchecked it's bad yes. why what makes you say that because they seem to be more concerned about their social image online than they do in everyday life would you say people follow and tend to follow people that are more popular in real life and famous online try and copy their look Yes. Yeah, I, I agree to be, to be honest. Not the Kardashians. Yeah, I agree, you have a lot. Of It's basically a fear of missing out. It's basically if someone's doing one thing, you've got to be seen to be doing it. The last one was the was it the memo one? Memo 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 challenges. Memo, memo, memo challenges. You've had the, the cinnamon challenges, all these stupid things. People have put themselves in real danger. Yeah. Would know, you say uh, the fear of missing out is something that impacts a lot of people when it comes to social media? Yeah, again, you've got this in case of the, they must have the latest gadget to view all these things. So, you know, they put themselves into debt or the hankering after things or this and the not being able to have, you know, it's like a safety blanket is, is a mobile phone and social media. So the fear of missing out, yeah, if you don't keep up with texts, it's terrible. The next question is, can you tell me what your screen time is this week? This question is optional. My screen time, I would say, would be about 25% of my working day. I'm an IT teacher. I use screen time. I'm always on the computer. When I'm at home, I do social media. I'm actually on YouTube, Twitch and wherever, so I do a lot on there as well. So, social media is something that you rely on quite heavily? I don't rely on it. I use it. It's something you use as a hobby? Yeah. The next question is, and it's quite an important one, could you live without social media? Yes. How, sir? You've because just said social media is a hobby. Would It's a hobby. So it's not I've got other hobbies, you. I paint metal figures. Um, there's a company called Gamers Workshop and what have you, and they do plastic figures and I paint them. I do that for as a hobby as well. You know, if we didn't have, you know, playing computer games is a hobby. Just because social media is there, I put stuff out on Twitch, Twitter and YouTube and Facebook, and that's because I'm... It just know. helps fill the void of time. Yeah. The last and final question is, and I say... The last and final question is, and I would say that this is uh, the one that stands out the most, and that is, does social media have an impact on your life? No. Social media doesn't impact my life. You've got to have what we call the detox. Um, every Sunday from mid-morning to early evening, I have a digital detox. I don't touch the internet in any way, shape or form. If you get that downtime, I have a lot of social interaction. My computer is always on, but I'm doing other things and what have you. I don't rely on it in any way, shape, or form. So without it, it doesn't matter. You've got texts, you've got phone calls. You know, it, it, we did these things well before '92 when the internet came in. We did it well before Facebook came in in nine, uh, 2009. 
And to finish off with, I'm actually asking a question that's not on the list. <laughs> Does social media have a massive impact with you being an ICT teacher? Or do you see other children around you on it a lot? Or? The, yeah, the, it has a negative impact in terms of learning because they're all people are always on the phone. And easily distracted. And easily distracted because the fear of missing out during group chats, texting each other, messages, and Snapchat. This and the other. As soon as that phone pings, you've got to have it in first. You can't do that in the working in the working room. If you imagine if you're an ambulance driver, a fire fire engine driver, and your phone goes off and you pick up your phone, what's going to happen if you're driving a, a vehicle? It's going to like cause that? a serious incident and problems. That's it. Yeah, there are times and places when you're chilling, relaxing, then have it. Other times when you're busy and trying to do stuff, leave it be. Social media is such a big part of their lives now. It's more of like a social statement. Would you say young people rely more on social media than people do now? Uh, people that are maybe older than 16 plus. Yeah. Yeah, would you say also that from a young age people are, instead of growing into social media, as obviously social media is relatively new, would you say it, it, when young people are born necessarily now, they're, they're literally born into a life full of social media? Yeah, they don't, they don't really get introduced to it. They it's just, just get it at, they can just get it at any age realistically, yeah. even if they are garbled.